Cougars remain regular season after night. Possibly playoffs. There's Dressler again. Kevin Iben with the tackle close to a first down. Weston Dressler has had an impact on this football game since the opening kick. Yeah, Dressler left, Dressler right, Dressler up the middle. Seems to have been the offensive game plan for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and they are executing it very successfully. The Hamilton Tiger Cats defensively have not had an answer for this guy. Two touchdowns in this football game. The dominant offensive performer thus far. Like Chris Williams, a former most outstanding rookie. His season high last year, 109 in one game. He has 138 so far. He's not done. Leaping high, but driven backwards by Marcel Young, who was victimized on that Dressler touchdown earlier. Dressler with two major scores here. One of the dynamic, diminutive receivers in the Canadian Football League, Weston Dressler. And you're going to see Weston Dressler, the number one receiver, closest to the sideline. He needs the other receivers to clear out for him, push things deep. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. They run that hitch. Barry and Durant trying to make the correction. Two and a half to go in the quarter. Second and ten. Corey Sheets. Sprung here. Sheets down near the 30. Sheets still on his feet. Down near the 20-yard line. 38-yard gain. Corey Sheets shows those quick feet and also a very stiff arm. Well, Kevin Iben eventually makes the tackle, but it's some 40 yards after he first laid hands on Corey Sheets. Iben was the man right with him in coverage. Wow. Terrific straight arm there by the first-year running back to lose one of the most sure tacklers in the recent CFL history. Away he goes for a big gain, putting his team deep in Hamilton Tiger Cat territory. Multi-purpose tonight. Rushing, receiving, Corey Sheets. Rough Rider debut. His nickname, Kid Rocket. Early flag. And from Hill down near the 10-yard line. Matt Buckner. Canadian defensive back, born in Hamilton, on that corner, replacing the injured Ryan Hines. Let's see what the flag's all about. Buckner shaking up on the play. As you mentioned, Buckner, the young Canadian, starred at University of Windsor. Undrafted a couple years ago. Has worked hard getting to the free agent combines. Correct. He's garnered some attention, earned himself an invite to camp, and made his way onto the roster this season. Buckner is up. No penalty on the play. Say hello to the new Mondays on Bravo. Every Monday night, new episodes of Suits at 9 Eastern, White Collar at 10 Eastern. All new Mondays, very Bravo. Suits. I know him. I know him too, and yeah. he's going to be working later tonight. He will. Glenn Suter and Chris Cuthbert standing by in BC Place. Will G. Roy Simon surpass Milt Stiegel? Milt's in the house there too. Right here, 10 point lead. Second and short yardage. Durant with Sheets. And he is stuffed at the line. Had to get to the 10 yard line to move the sticks. Not sure if the nose of the football is there. It looks like he's short. And yeah, not a favorable spot for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Still going to need a yard. Corey Sheets, who spent time in San Francisco and Carolina, played two games with the Dolphins in 09. Former Purdue Boilermaker. Making quite a debut. That's a long yard here. Corey Chamblin, are you in the gambling mood or do you take the points? You've got a 10 point advantage right now. If I'm Corey Chamblin, I'm going for it. We saw him go for it on a third down. Third with a longer one Two. than this, with what I would term riskier field position earlier in the second half. Back 
backup quarterback Drew Willie. Right at the University of Buffalo. Comes in for the short yardage play. Tiger Cat fans want to stop here. Willie behind center. Goes forward and has the first down, but there is a penalty flag on the far side of the field. Looked like some early movement. Somebody lined up wrong, perhaps. Thirty seconds to go. It is against Hamilton. Well, predictably, in the short yardage situation, the defense looking to get outside. That Hamilton, five-yard penalty, first down. Five yards takes it to the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal. We'll take another look here. The Tiger Cats don't appear to be lined up offside. We'll see if the movement came early here. And maybe underneath to ramp back. Play action. Tressler make it three. Patrick. Weston Dressler. What an opening night to the 2012 season. Three touchdowns. Weston Dressler once again. There's the underneath motion out into the flat. Still trying to cover that man and can't get there. Marcel Young, much like we saw in Dressler's first touchdown of this football game, is trying to follow him through a lot of traffic in man coverage to get there. Time ticking down in the third quarter and the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Now find themselves down by 17 points. First game of the 2012 season and all the hype and expectation here in Hamilton. And I know it's a long season, long journey, and one game does not make a season. But I think a lot of people saw this coming tonight, especially with all the marquee hype surrounding the Hamilton Tiger Cats. No question. And the, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders flew under the radar a little yes. bit in the offseason. But, you know, the money they spent on that offensive line appears to be paying off right now. You take a look there, Darian Durant's touchdown pass numbers from last season, 18 through the entire season, kicking things off with four here tonight. Great start for Double D. And for head coach Corey Chamberlain, already almost doubling their point totals per game from last year. And the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, one thing that has been proven through the years, they have really owned the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And the Hamilton Tiger Cats have not been good in season openers over the last six years. 0 and 6. Shamar Walker. Dropped near the 37 yard line. So that will be the Gun here to end the third quarter. Cats will have the win, but they trail large. Three quarters complete here tonight, opening night in Hamilton. Not so good so far for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders come in here and have dominated, especially offensively. It has been the D&D &D show. Durant and Dressler. Weston Dressler. Three touchdowns, Darian Durant with four touchdown passes, Dwayne Ford. Well, you know, I asked Darian Durant yesterday, we had a chance to sit down and talk, and I said, do you think that so much attention has been given with the departure of Andy Fantuz to what you don't have that people have forgotten what you still do have? And he said, absolutely, there are still a lot of good football players in this room, Darian Durant and Weston Dressler being two of them. Another big number on that board you just saw was the number zero beside turnovers. Last year, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders coughed up the football as much as anybody in the league in turnover differential. Only the Toronto Argonauts matched them. Those two teams, of course, did not make the playoffs. They protected the football here tonight. Henry Burris has work to do here in the fourth. But the Hamilton Tiger Cats are to come back. Walker eventually goes down, picks up a little more than the half the first down yardage he needs. 
But again, you see the Saskatchewan defense now taking away everything deep as this spread opens to a, a three possession game for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, meaning they're going to look to go to the air a little bit more and try and get some points quickly. That plays into the Saskatchewan Rough Riders' hands. Good coverage downfield, forcing Burris to dump it underneath. Tie Cats defense really victimized here so far tonight. Burris has time. Little out pattern again. And in and out of the hands. That is something you do not see very often from last year's Rookie of the Year, Chris Williams. You know, and at this time in this game situation, you need to have that one. When a first down kept a drive alive. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders also controlling this game in terms of time of possession. Not necessarily dominating, but winning that battle. The Hamilton Tiger Cats have got to keep that Saskatchewan defense on the field for a while. Time of possession, but every time they had the ball in the third quarter, they did something with it. They sure did. Touchdown, field goal, touchdown. Uh-oh. Bad snap. Josh Bartell. Now the Aussie rule football player lets it fly. How did he get that away? Sonoris Moss dancing around now. Here's 50. Well, well, Dwayne Ford, I went to a Canadian Football League game and an Aussie Rules football kick broke out. Yeah, fortunately, the Hamilton Tiger Cats had the right guy in that situation. One guy they don't have, though, if you think back to the first quarter, is their regular long snapper. Kevin Scott, he was injured very early in this ball game, which means Darcy Brown, the fullback, becomes a long snapper. Hasn't had a whole lot of game opportunity to do this. Fires that one over the head of Josh Bartell. Fortunately, the first year punter able to bail him out. Well, that could have been disastrous, and I'm sure they're talking to him, but when the ball goes back that far, probably take it back, go in the end zone and give up the safety. Fortunately for him, it worked out for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Still good field position. Again, Corey Sheets does it again. Up near the 40-yard line. What has been surprising tonight is the ease with which the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have moved the football on the ground and in the air. Yeah, it's been a combination of those quick hitters. The Hamilton Tiger Cats again. We've talked earlier about playing with inexperienced defensive ends. You've got Crable and Boudreaux getting sucked in by the run fake. Watch on the right side. Boudreaux comes hard down the line. He gets cut down by the slot. Gets lap. That's what opens up that lane to the outside for Corey Sheets. Ray Williams directs traffic. First and ten. Guess who? Dressler again. Still on his feet, Weston Dressler. How much more can you do? And now a little scrap going on behind the play and a penalty flag. And Darian Durant trying to hold back his offensive line. May have cost them here. We'll see. Look at this play by Weston Dressler. Yeah, well, Weston Dressler continues to stretch his lead here in game one becoming an early favorite for offensive player of the week and then behind the play it's like chris patrick yeah, patrick and crable into it those guys have been battling at the line of scrimmage throughout this game but darian durant telling them don't take away a big play doing that stuff we'll see if this is offsetting at all This has been a completely different Saskatchewan Rough Rider offense that we saw for most, if not all, of the 2011 season. Major foul, disqualification, number 59, Saskatchewan. That's a 25-yard penalty at the end of the play. It will be first down and 10, Saskatchewan. So that will bring that back. Chris Patrick, long walk back to the dressing room. Well, it's one of the few things that this Saskatchewan offensive line has done wrong in this football game. That group has been very good with the hands to the face and then throwing a couple of punches here from Chris Patrick. And that's the one that earned him an early shower. Patrick. 
Oh, good decision. Patrick was about to take the helmet off, but that's a good decision to leave it on as you have to walk under the fans you, to get been, into the dressing room. You, you've played here before. This is uh, Chris Patrick's first game with the Rough Riders, traded from Toronto in June, played last year in Edmonton. First game, and he doesn't last the entirety. So now the Rough Riders will have to sub in for him. And their O-line is off for Darian Durant. Loads of protection here tonight. So we'll see if this factors in. Time's certainly a factor for the Hamilton Tiger Cats down 17, 12 and a half to go. Now in the game at tackle. You've got that all U of S Huskies right side on the offensive line. Ben Heenan now joined at tackle by Pat Newfeld. I can just see Brian Towers beaming with pride out in Saskatoon right now. They must save a lot of money on scouting players in Saskatchewan. <laughs> they don't have to go very far. So many Saskatchewan Huskies and Regina Rams. It tells you a lot about this team. They take pride in playing for their hometown and home province. Dressler again, Ray Williams. Rips him down. Dressler was going nowhere but sideways. So it'll be second down now. And for as many yards as Weston Dressler has piled up in this football game, and for those keeping track, like our stats man John Russell, 12 catches, 176 yards, three touchdowns. But many of those yards coming after the catches. We've seen him with some quick hitters, some hitches. That go-to play where they sneak him out into the flat after motioning across the formation. Durant spinning now. Sideline. And they're saying no catch for Justin Harper. Dressler went on a fly pattern that time and for a moment looked, looked to be open in the end zone, but Durant had too much pressure that time. And Darian Durant is also playing peacemaker here tonight. Do that, Ralph. Dominic Picard, the former Toronto Argonaut, another one of the acquisitions to the O-line in the offseason, along with Brendan Labatt, came over from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Obviously, that play designed for Rob Bag. 11.24 to go, an injury on the field. We'll take a timeout and come back to Iverwind Stadium in Hamilton.